Hey there, Berries. Welcome to a Sona game. I know, right? I haven't played Sona for quite some time. Seraphine was banned, and oh no, what am I going to do? So, uh, yeah, Sona. It's been a while. And they're going to be doing like an ultra-defensive lane build. Sona sucks in lane generally, um, but if you can last the laning phase, get towards the level 11, then we're going to have good times. So we're looking for those good times. We've got to go have the bad times before we can have the good times. So... Yeah, let's, we'll see how we do. We're up against a Rao Senna. Uh, so they have a lot of engage potential there. Kaiser will get harassed a little bit, but um, I'm sure we'll be fine. Right? We'll be fine. It is solo queue in Diamond 2, by the way, if you were interested. And we are going to be doing the uh, the Moon of Flowing Poo build. So it's um, Stuff of Flowing Water with Moonstone and uh, Chemtech Poo. Future fire. There you go. So those three items combined. Combined. The powers combined makes the moon or flowing poo. I have now coined that phrase. I'm going to make it popular. Believe me. Okay. Kaiser going the short but dangerous way. So in lane here, I mean, because I'm only... Uh, I have no spell thieves. I have actually no reason to harass. Like legit, no joke. I haven't really got much cause here. To actually fight. So just gonna try and hit level two here. Help here with the, uh, the relic shields. I might even like a W max build. Hey, talk. Thank you for the eight months resub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Just make sure when you're playing Sona, when you do one of your Qs or or Ws or whatever, you know, need to make sure you um, walk into an ally so you get that mana refund. Otherwise, you will go out of mana incredibly fast. Raul is staying out of form. She's looking to do a charge and fling overhead attack. Getting wrecked, and there's an Ivan there. Yeah, that was way too easy, actually. Um, yeah, there's nothing to that gank at all, actually. Kaiser just kind of overstepped slightly, and then that was it. Fine. I'm only looking for a uh, recall interrupt. I'm not looking for anything too spicy. Well, this looks about Kaiser and Senna getting a kill early on. Senna really shouldn't be getting that far ahead that early. But here we are. Kind of want to stay in the lane a little bit longer. I mean, I can get a fairy charm, which I will need, but it's like... This lane needs pushing in. This lane needs pushing in. Needs pushing in, dude, because it's way too big. Like, then let me start teaching you about lane management, all right? Because should know that by now. I'm in two, all right? It's not, it's not an iron. Like they can't freeze this wave. Kaiser should look to go back. Maybe get a control ward, or maybe contest scuttle if she's gonna stay. It's a good push because they can't freeze it there. Get boots on top of that as well, that's quite nice. Alright. Next recall, I might even buy another fairy charm. Uh, I know some people like doing tier on Sona, but it's just going to distract too much from the build. So we're going to just do double fairy charm just to make that will help um, ease off this mana costs. It's also like the punishment for going guardian as well is um, you can't have those two mana thingies in your build, so you can't have a you can't have mana flow banned and cookies. You have to choose. Whereas if you go airy, you can get both. But I don't feel comfortable going airy against this. Two control wards on the enemy rail.
Looks like they got a lot of river control. I mean, we just need to outlast them, right? Laning phase, as we mentioned at the start, just gotta get through those bad times. Gotta go through those bad times to have the good times, so... Sometimes it all ends just in the bad times, and you get no good times. But if you manage, if you manage to make it out, it'd be alright. We have some great scaling here as well on our team, so... Dropping a kill or two behind this early, maybe losing a Drake or two. It's no biggie. It's no biggie. Yeah, it's basically no point in harassing. Um, Q is almost irrelevant right now. Just here for Ws. It's expensive, but you know we can heal. How much is this healing for anyway? 71 heal plus 77 shield, so about 140-ish effective healing in a fight on the Kaiser. Might look to do a W power cord onto the enemy. Basically like an exhaust, the W power cord. Might as well groove it a little bit while we're not doing much. Because why not? Kaiser wants to push in. I'm not sure exactly why. Oh no, Kaiser, you had to do that, didn't you? I could have had the cannon minion there. Rails roaming. So this isn't pushed in that ideally. I would have froze it one more wave. But it's okay. It's alright. See how bad this lane is pushed in? It's not that bad, but it's it could have been better than this. They're missing some, but we missed a bit more as well. This should this could have been like pushed into around by here for us on the way back. Rail's still missing. I know she was up top side, but she hasn't done much since then. I'm surprised the enemy team hasn't gone for a dragon. I mean, we could do Drake. I mean, Kaiser can push in bot. Senna might be AFK or something here. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Does appear that way. That Senna actually might not be in the game at the moment. And hey, Legend Doe said, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the Berry Bush. That's a nice Drake, either way. Ivan's here. Oh, Senna is here. I think I'm gonna die. Nindy's a little bit late to the fight, even though she did ping down. And then same with Galio as well, he could have gotten range to ult too. Thought we would be okay because Nindy kept saying that she was on her way, but she wasn't on her way. She finished doing Grom before coming down, so... Yeah, and then Senna came back. Wasn't actually quite expecting her to come back. Bit of a pain in the arse, this one, isn't it? So Nars losing top at the moment. Nidalee's the only one with kills on our team. We're losing bot. Although Kaiser did pick up a CS advantage with the solo farm. Well, the... Um, that since there was no center for a while. I'm not looking for too much here. Uh, yeah, I can't. I am not can't touch that wood. Yeah, 
Nidalee might be able to get there in time. Does look like it. Nice. Quinn going for it just a tad too much. Just need to relax. I think Rel has been doing a decent job. Her engages have been solid. Does also seem at the same time that Kaiser's in their own little world. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Don't ruin me. She could have moved there. Uh... Yeah, Kaiser has no bite back at the moment. We'll be waiting to scale. Once we hit like a level 11, then things are going to start getting a bit more interesting for us. But until then. Probably didn't want to ult, but it's nice that we caught Rel on the transition there. Let's see if that control is still in this brush. Nope. Are they okay? No, they're not. Let's go help. I thought this fight was over. Well, it was over. Might as well take some mid lane XP. This lane isn't pushed in that great. Try and shove it in a bit quicker, but my I haven't got any points in Q, so... Yeah. Echo Teleport. We head back now. Pick up a bound or glass. I would go Kindle Gem. Just for the extra HP, but I'm a hundred short. Well, about sixty short if you if I sell the cookie maybe. Uh we will start putting more points in Q though. Putting more points in E isn't really worth it. Plus one percent movement speed per point is like a bit rubbish. So we will be putting points in Q next. Rellas around here. I can't really keep up with her movement right now. Rel is back bot side, it's okay. a lot of my mana there and that was just that was with two fairy charms as well I don't think we should look for fights still I think we're fine just scanning through this seemingly can't kill us 2v2 now so it's progress from where we were there is a dragon up as well that we should try and move over for. Ivan is here. That went to 6 HP. Interesting. I need these for mana. This is fine. I'm not worried about this at all at the moment. <clears throat> we got two dragons, more than that. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I was expecting that the enemy team to get at least one of those drakes. Mm, we've got no wards around here. Let's just check in the lane. Why not Tewa Sona? It's 
I'm not going to be converting into an Archangels. I mean, I could end up as like a fourth item, but it's like so far out of reach that it's just honestly no point even thinking about. Seems to be going okay in that little 3v3 up there. And once we complete the Moonstone Renewer, we'll basically get another Fairy Charm on top of it because of the uh, the regen goes from 50% to 100% with the Moonstone. So once we start completing these these items, our, ma our mana will be fine. So we'll have 100% there. Staff of Flowing Water does the same as well. Well, on full completion. Uh, Chemtech doesn't have mana regen, I believe, or am I lying? Oh, I am lying, another 100%. Oh yeah, of course, it builds from Bandle Glass, doesn't it? So, Yeah, I mean, once, like, late game anyway, mana issues won't be a problem anyway, and the tier's not going to solve mana issues early game anyway, so it's like... Once you have those items completed, you won't have any mana... You shouldn't have as many mana issues, at least, anyway. Easy frog, how am I doing? I'm doing alright, thank you. Hope you're doing well too. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't that scary. We've got a TP coming down now. Now I'm out of mana. As you can start to see that we're starting, they haven't got enough damage now to get through my stuff. So yeah, we're starting to, we're getting to a point very soon where we're going to be, um, it'll be the opposite. We won't just be tanking that stuff, we're going to be out sustaining it. So we're going to have Moonstone completed here. We just completed our support item as well, so we're going to be getting a little bit more haste here. Some more of that mana regen, and then once we hit level 11, um, a lot of people don't aren't actually aware of this, but um, every time you put a point in ulti, it reduces your QWE by a percentage. 10% on the first point, 25% for the next one, and then 40% for the last one. So the more ult points you get, the more spam spells you can spam in a team fight. And that's where basically Sona, like the memes of like Sona rolling her head on the keyboard is basically her thing. We've got ulti again, I'm level 10. Would love to wait until level 11 before fighting, though. Oh no. That terrain messed me up. Okay, I was gonna do flash ulti on Ivan, but Galio is coming around the flank. Has he got enough? Alright, I'm gonna use Power Cord W here on this Echo just to reduce this damage. Kai has a triple kill. I think next time I do Lonely Phase of Sona, I think it might be better to do Mana Flow Band as opposed to Cookies. Mana Flow Band gives you maybe potentially extra cash in lane and a little bit more sustain. But the Staff of Flow. Uh, the. Manifo Band would give me more of mana regen here. Apart from my fail flash, ulti. I mean, I guess Galley did end up using it in the end, they're kind of, but. 
That fight went pretty decently for us. Kaiser picked up a lot of kills there. She's now got a 600 core bounty and now we're th one Drake away from Mountain Drake. What about Presence of Mind? No. The only other rune that you would take there from that then would be like a Tenacity rune, but I don't think that's going to help too much, personally. So we're entering into uh, the mid game for Zona. This is where she's strongest. Get a bit more XP now for level 11. And as you can see, you know, I mean, the only thing that you could possibly change really in this build is the starting item. If you're able to harass, and if you're able to harass, I would do like two to three points in Q. Apart from that, I wouldn't change anything apart from, uh, and also maybe the secondary runes like I mentioned, but it's like, it's a kind of minor. I think you just have to play Sona right now as like really, really, really passive. Generally, it's not worth trading on her, the, the, the Q damage isn't like worth it. Q is better like later on, um, you know, you enhance your allies attack, you also get rotations for power cord, so power cord W and power cord E are pretty important for fights and stuff, kind of like how Seraphine works, where her Q is kind of like, when you're playing Enchanter Seraphine, her Q is kind of pointless as the game goes on, it's just literally there almost for like, um, passive stacks. So you can get a better E or W off. So it's basically the same in that regard. But the one thing that Seraphine has that Sona hasn't, I would say, is apart from maybe like the ulti difference. Like Sona has a bit more team fight power in terms of movement speed and kill the Rohan. Is that actually Seraphine's mana costs aren't as brutal. I'm starting to get some mana issues now. We've had 1.9k healing with Moonstone at the moment. Sona's W is definitely better than Seraphine's W. Um, for sure. Like in terms of what are you getting in the mid game, for sure. But the, the Seraphine's mana costs are just much nicer. Like, Sona's team fight fighting ability to keep her, like, team alive is much better than Seraphine's. But the, the, the Seraphine has a better ulti. But like the ulti is literally... If they ever nerf Seraphine ulti, Seraphine will be garbage. And we're entering into that direction, honestly. I can see them nerfing Seraphine ulti. It's entirely possible. And then if it enters into that realm, then Seraphine... Sona will be better than Seraphine. Like, hands down at that point. In a team fight, Sona's abilities cost 30 mana less. Yeah, but it's still a lot. I, I think she could use like um, a base mana regen increase anyway. So at least like his scale is better or something. I don't know, but... It's just my opinion. Or like more max mana per level or something. Something like that would be nice on her. But her win rates are pretty high in Sodiki. So I don't imagine she will get a buff. It would be a nice quality of life thing, but uh, it's definitely not, you know, maybe needed overall. More Q damage would help. 
I mean, it would give more purpose in the laning phase. They would have to do a stat reshift if they were going to buff Q. I personally wouldn't mind that. But I think Riot are pretty funny about Seraphine right now because of the uh, the whole double enchanter stuff that happened last season. We can just hit the in here, but I don't understand what the problem is here. Just hit the in him. And then hit the other in him. Ah, uh, finally got one. Echo literally saw it coming. It's okay. I'm just sustaining through this like crazy. <laughs> the enemy team doesn't have enough damage to like push us off. Or do they? It's a decent engage now. Yeah, they do now. Okay. Didn't look like they were going to have enough. But as soon as Kaiser died, that was it. Kaiser did have exhaust and ulti, so it's a shame she didn't get to use those things. Their top side is getting heavily pushed in, though. They did lose a tier 3 turret. This is Mountain Soul that we are going to be missing out on. Staff of Flame Water. Pick up another Fairy Charm for the Ken. And we're on our way towards that uh, Moon of Flowing Poo build. We've got the Moon of Flowing, we just need the Poo. Don't know if we're going to get there or not. But my god, it's going to be glorious if you do. So it does look like they're going to get that Mountain Salt. There is a Baron up again in one minute. Uh, now that they've got no Nexus turrets and they are down to inhibs, we can just go to top side into top inhib. Is Lich Bane good on Sona? Lich Bane recently got nerfed, but I wouldn't bother. Honestly, just go Enchanted Items. Like, after, you know, the three items here that we're about to pick up, the Moonstone, the Staff of Flame Water, the uh, Chemtech Putrefire, it is a Wardstone. And then, it's, then it ends up into a really messy build name. Then it then it becomes uh, Moon of Flowing Poo Stone. Don't know, how, don't know how far that would take off. It might be a bit too much. I'm not sure how people would be uh, feeling about doing poo stones, but <laughs> it's quite a short game. I mean, honestly, the enemy team has a very low team damage composition, so it kind of feels like I was doing nothing the entire game. But healing, shielding wise, we were kind of relevant. But the enemy team also kind of fell apart at the same time. Learning phase went pretty predictable. I said it would be difficult. Um, Kaiser definitely struggled in the lane. Um, Kaiser's probably not the best pick here. Hyper carry with Sona is nice, but um, Sona does particularly well against short ranged AD carries as it does guarantee her getting stacks quite easily. So it's not exactly the, uh, the best AD carry pick into what they had in the bot lane. If we had a longer range uh, champion there, maybe like a Zaya. Or someone with a dash. Even something like Ezreal. Um, you know, you just want to delay the game. Something that's relevant late game still. But just not getting too caught up in fights in the laning phase. And honestly, you just kind of bore the enemy to death. So just try not to, uh, to you know... It, it's not that difficult. And that's why she's she does pretty well at the moment. Um, I know a lot of the people are used to Sona where it's like you har get to harass the lane a little bit more. And then you get the scale, but honestly, there's just absolutely no reward for harassing. The, the Q damage is terrible, costs too much mana, and there's like there's not any reward for doing it. Like you would have to do it more if you were doing spell thieves and mana flow band. You would need to do some form of harassment. But in this build here with Guardian, um, yeah, you probably have like a slightly like a little bit more like mana issues than you would that do having airy, but you know, you don't put yourself at any risk. Um, it's generally pretty passive. And the enemy team are forced to do stuff. Um, overextend, potentially. 
which can bring a jungler in, which we didn't necessarily have that game, but um, yeah, you know, it's just, you know, their bot lane ended up 2, 6, 1, 5 after they were doing okay in the bot lane. Rao had some nice engages, um, but, you know, just out of scale. I mean, game length is, you know, still relatively long, even in high elo, so the lower elo you are, game length generally goes up. Which means hyper carries and champions like Sona do pretty well. So, yeah, nothing really else to talk about there. It's just um, nothing particularly special. Special. Just don't be afraid about playing passive. If you if you are someone who sucks at playing aggressive, then literally something like Sona is like perfect for you. <laughs> um, if you don't mind playing a, a slow laning phase and just let the enemy like you know outplay themselves, maybe have a little bit more control on the map, and you don't mind that happening. And your team can just, if you have options like later in the game, like, you know, we still had Kaiser uh, in particular for the late game. I think overall, our team composition overall wasn't that bad for late game. We had, um, you know, we had enough tanks and stuff to stall out the fights and just let Moonstone do its thing with my healing. And then the Kaiser just, you know, as long as Kaiser didn't die in our team composition, we were fine on damage. If you look on the enemy team, it's sort of similar as well. Ivan is an enchanter, but he's not as strong as someone as Sona past when she hits level 11. Sona provides much more utility than than Ivan in terms of like shields and movement speed and heals. The Senna's damage generally like okay if she gets going. Rao again, another tank, not really providing much damage there. If Echo can't burst someone down, he's pretty useless. And then Quinn as uh, one of those picks that like wants to find individual picks she doesn't want to do team fights so you know if you're playing sony you want team fights so we're always grouped up anyway so after the mid game during the mid game so yeah they didn't really have an, an option or an answer for our, our, us they had too little damage and too little um like tank kidding stuff and I think is that only one grievous wounds item? The the Ivan bought a uh, oblivion orb. Is that it? Yeah, that's saying a lot as well. So they only had an oblivion orb on Ivan, which is pretty terrible. So yeah, when we've got like a nearly heal, we've got my heals and stuff like that. It's uh, it's not a huge amount that they've got on their team. But I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the little Sona overview. I'm probably not going to play her too much because it's not my play style at all. I don't like playing the phase this this slow. But um, I know I understand there's a lot of people out there that don't mind playing lane slow, and honestly, it's it's very very easy to do. Um, it's okay to play defensive, and you know as long as you've got that option to going into the mid game. If you get to mid game, you're gonna win most of your games. Her her win rate skyrockets past when you hit level eleven. Your win rate will go up like crazy comparative to the um, you know the early stages of the game. So yeah. You're not looking to win early game. You're not looking for a 15 minute win. You're looking for towards that 25, 30 minute win with Sona. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed that little analysis of Sona. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll be doing some more uh, Enchanter content plus tank and uh, mage content on supports and tier lists and guides and stuff. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow and don't forget to stay.